Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So NBA 2K18 recently stated that they are going to be releasing 16 new classical teams on top of the teams that are already in NBA 2K17 for NBA 2K18. So Forbes actually developed an article here uh, predicting the 16 teams that will be in this game. So we are going to go through this article, see which teams are posted, guys. Let me know in the comment section below which teams you all want to see and everything like that. Uh, without further ado, my friends, let's get started on this right here. So, yeah, the classic teams, or I call them historical teams, classic teams, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these right here are the teams that are already in the game. I mean, I know you got like a billion of them that are like, you know, Chicago Bulls. Um, I know there's quite a few Laker teams out there. I think a few, uh, I guess that's like the bulk, like, major ones that's like, oh my god, there's so many of those. I uh, got my 2003-2004 Detroit Pistons. You also got the bad boys up there too. But here we go, guys. Um, yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, so this is what we need. We need Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley. Now, first and foremost... Um, so since every single team is going to be getting a historical team, they got to be in the game. Like, you can't have the Pacers without the 90s Reggie Miller, right? Plain and simple. So the first team we got listed is the 2015-2016 uh, Golden State Warriors. Now, I know they were historically great. I mean, yes, they have the most regular season wins of all time. But I don't want this team, okay? It's pretty much just like the team now, just instead of Kevin Durant, you have Harrison Barnes and also... Uh, who else, man? Andrew Bogan. Andrew Bogan is a starting center. So, eh, that's... It's two reasons. Like, yeah, they do that. I guess they'll do it more just because of the accomplishment. But, all right, man. I mean, sure, why not? 2013-2014, uh, San Antonio Spurs. Now, this was the season that they won the championship. And Kawhi Leonard was, of course, the finals MVP. Um, you know, on this team, though, it was an aging Tim Duncan. It says uh, he was, well, averaging 15 points per game in the playoffs there. He also got Tony Parker. He says his leading score at 16.7. So, yes, um, I would personally like to see maybe, like, a mid-2000s San Antonio Spurs with, like, you know, Mono Ginobili, Tony Parker, Prime, Tim Duncan, Bruce Bowen, Robert Horry, guys like that. I mean, this team would still be cool and everything, but I'd like to see more, like, the prime San Antonio, you know, big three Spurs. Um, next up, we got the 2012-2013 uh, Indiana Pacers. Now, this was the team, of course, that had, of course, uh, you know, Paul George. Looks like there was George Hill, David West. Uh, Roy Hibbert, I believe this is the team, does this team have Lance Stevenson on them? Or was this, was this before or after Lance Stevenson? I can have sworn Lance Stevenson was on this team and actually a beast. Uh, maybe it wasn't this one, but said they pushed the, the Miami Heat to a seven game series. So yeah, it's like, it's just, it's that prime Paul George team. Although, oh, he was only 22 when he did that, that's crazy. Alright, next up, this is one that I think will be in the game, guys. The 2011-2012 OKC Thunder with Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and also the six-man James Harden. Of course, he went on to uh, be the shooting guard of the Houston Rockets and MVP pet caliber, while Durant went to the bitch-ass Warriors. And Russell Westbrook, of course, is still on the OKC Thunder. Um, this would be fun. Now, rating-wise, I feel like, you know, Kevin Durant would still be, like, around 95 overall. Russell, you know, probably, like, a 92-93, and James Harden, uh... He was the sixth man, so he would probably be in the 80 range at that point. Yeah, that would still be a lot of fun to uh, play with. And not to mention doing that, but also doing, like, a historical team rebuild this team. And just kind of keep them together and trying to develop all those players uh, as things along. Like, I would definitely do that. Uh, next up, we have... Ooh, yeah, this is the good one. This is a good one, 2K. This is a good one. 2010 Chicago Bulls. This guy, the youngest MVP of all time in Derrick Rose. I know Bulls fan would go absolutely crazy if this team was in the game. Also got, what, uh, I think Ben Gordon was the shooting guard of that team. Um, you got Joakim Noah, Lou Dane, Carlos Boozer. Yeah, this this will be a lot of fun. And you know what, 2K? Make it so we can actually play with these bitch-ass teams online. Because there's a lot of times where it's like I want to use a certain team for us the, the classical teams, but I just can't because you can't play with them online, which is kind of weird. All right, next we have the 2010 NBA World Championship Dallas Mavericks. Another team that would be fun to play with, of course, you got Prime Dirk Nowitzki, who really put that team on his back against the Miami Heat. That was the first year that LeBron James actually played on the Heat. And, of course, we know they lost in the finals to Dirk Nowitzki, uh, Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, Tyson Chandler, players like that. Yeah, man, that was, that, that'd be a lot. I, I would definitely play with them. Uh, yo, Tyson Chandler, low-key, was a beast on that team. Actually, high-key. High-key. Yo, who else is there? Crown Butler, Sean Marion, Paige Stoikovic. Oh, yeah, man. 2008-2009 uh, Los Angeles Lakers, no doubt an update Lakers team needs me in this game. I mean, man, like, the only, there's only one, well, I guess there's there's two Kobe's, there's a rookie Kobe, and there's also a uh, Kobe Shaq Kobe on this game. So it's like, yes, we need Kobe when he was playing with Pau Gasol, when he was in his absolute prime, and just being the Kobe killer out there. So yes, um, as far as Lakers squads go, I know there's a lot of them, maybe get rid of one of the freaking older ones, and put this team in there with Pau Gasol and, uh, who else? Andrew Bynum, uh, Lamar Odom, who is the point guard? Derek Fisher probably at times. 
not the Smush Parker one. We can avoid that. We don't need the Smush Parker, Kobe Lakers. So I, or plus I also think Kwame Brown was a starting center on that team. The 2007-2008 New Orleans Hornets. What, what, one of my actual favorite teams of all time. This is a team I really have good memories of watching growing up. Uh, this had Prime CP3, had David West, who was an all-star back then. You had James Posey, Peja Soyakovich. Um, I think uh, Bonzi Wells might have been the shooting guard or a shooting guard on that team. That name just rings a bell for me for some reason. But yeah, another team. Also Tyson Chandler. I don't know if I said him or not. Um, him and you know Chris Paul and that Tyson Chandler alley combo was freaking deadly, man. All right, next we got the 2006-2007 Golden State Warriors. Now I was just on YouTube the other day watching some highlights of this team, watching Baron Davis and the savage he was on the basketball court. Oh, uh, this team I believe was an eight seed and actually bounced the first seed Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. Um, this had Baron Davis, Jay Rich, um, who else, man? I think Stephen Jackson was on that team. Uh, maybe David Lee, I believe. Uh, there were some other guys too. I'm sure that I'm forgetting about. But yeah, man, this team was an absolute beast. Baron Davis had a fantastic season. All right, next we got the 2004-2005 San Antonio Spurs. This was the year that I beat my Detroit Pistons, man. I was so pissed about it. Um, no pun intended there, but yeah, this team was absolutely crazy. This was, I was I already talked about this earlier about having a uh, you know a big three Spurs team on the team. Like they needed out there. It's just it's long overdue. I mean, if my Pistons were in this game, uh, the Spurs get, definitely got me in this game too. All right, next we got the 2002-2003 New Jersey Nets. This was a team that featured Jason Kidd, Kenyon Martin, um, Richard Jefferson in his prime. I believe Vince Carter might have been on this team, or maybe it was a little bit before his time. I, I do know that J uh, VC did play for the Nets. I don't. I think it was after this, so I think it was just after the uh, 2004 season, maybe, something like that. But, yeah, another team that would be fun to watch and uh, absolute beast. Out there you got Kerry Kittles. I don't remember him, but I, I, I remember the name. Cause, uh, I remember the Skittles, Kittles. Um... Yeah, Kenny Martin too, so yeah, man. All right, next we got the 2001-2002 Sacramento Kings. This was the Kings team that featured, of course, Chris Webb, Mike Baby, I believe Peja Soyakovich in his prime was on this team. Um, yeah, another, another fun team to play with. I mean, see Webb's got to be in this game. Vlade Divac, return to NBA 2K, okay. All right, now next we got the 2001-2002 Boston Celtics. If I remember correctly, man, was this... I don't think the Celtics were good around this time, were they? I remember Antoine Walker. I remember him because he always, well, he would shoot, score, and he would always shimmy on the basketball court. But I believe, man, uh, once upon a time, the Celtics were not a very good team. And it was when Antoine Walker was kind of leading the team. Paul Pierce was still kind of coming into his own. Uh, who is this? Is this uh, Mike James, maybe? Or is it Tony Delk? I don't know. 24-year-old uh, Paul George, or, or, I'm sorry, uh, Paul Pierce. Oh, damn, you would put up 26 points per game. Well, uh, Antoine Walker, 22 points. Okay, so... Maybe this team did a lot better than I thought it did. All right, next we have the uh, 1999 Detroit Pistons with those ugly ass uniforms. Yes, this was uh, Grant Hill when, uh, man, Grant Hill was actually spoken to be one of the next greatest players of all time. But of course, he had big, uh, big time injuries. Big one, it's one of the big what ifs of the NBA. And uh, some were saying he could have been like a Kobe out there. So yeah, man, this suck as a Pistons fan seeing Grant Hill go down with injuries like that. I mean, I was alive around this time. I was born in 1992, so yeah, I was just a little flake. I did not watch basketball until then, not until 2004. Hopped on that uh, Pistons bandwagon, I was allowed to do it. So I can't really hit on the Golden State Warrior kids that did the same thing. <laughs> uh, 1998 New York Knicks. Okay, um, once again, we got Patrick Ewing, Allen Houston, Larry Johnson, Latrell Sprewell, Marcus Camby. I can't speak much about this team right here. Like I said, it was before I started watching basketball, but it says uh, this is the most forgotten. Uh, it was a strike in NBA shortened season. Number eight seed to topple number one seed. Okay, so it looks like another case of an AC being the number one seed. Fair enough. 1992-1993, New Jersey Nets. Um, Derek Coleman. Yeah, that is uh, Drazen uh, Petrovic, who I believe... Yeah, he was one of the dudes that passed away, I think. Didn't he get, like, in a car crash or something like that? Uh, he was supposed to be, like... I was I was told he was, like, the greatest shooter of all time. That And people just don't, like, really say it or anything like that. Um, coached by Chuck Daly. Oh, damn, I'm the Pistons. I know he coached the Nets. Very cool, very cool. All right, but that's the last one we got there, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you all think about this. I thought these are all fantastic teams. I would like to see most of these on 2K, with the exception of maybe some of the more uh, closer ones. Like, I don't need that Golden State Warriors team. Even that Spurs team, it would be all right, but I'd like to see an old-school Antonio San Antonio Spurs team first. Be sure to like, subscribe, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> and peace out, my friends.